Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. We are going to dig back into Phoenix. Now that Phoenix has officially released, uh, well, not an official release necessarily in terms of, you know, a regular stable release, but at least we have uh, an initial version of Phoenix 1.5. And so I wanted to show you guys how you can upgrade your app to use Phoenix 1.5. Now, the way you do this is actually pretty simple, and I think it's really reflected in the fact that they really said, uh, at least in their Prag Prog book, it's greater than or equal to Phoenix 1.4, uh, that things are relatively stable, which is good for us. And so uh, what I did was I went ahead and I created a just a blank uh, Phoenix 1.4 app. And I wanted to show you, at least from just a simple app, how you can upgrade your app to use 1.5 release, release candidate zero and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and let's get started so you can see over here i'm already on 1.416 um, and on the other side of my screen i'm just going through this instructions along with you so one of the first things i recommend which makes a lot of sense is to actually install the latest uh, version of the phoenix new archive so you should actually use mix archive uninstall phx underscore new so that way when we generate projects we're not going to be using the old version and have this then we can install the new one by using mix archive install or installing from hex phx new one five zero rc dot zero and that's a yes and there we go so now any new projects that we want to do will automatically be using Phoenix 1.5.0. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually, of course, upgrade this to be 1.5.0. And this is RC.0. And you want to make sure that you override this in case any apps are saying that they want to use 1.4.0. Now Phoenix 1.5 is using the new version of PubSub, which was just released, I believe, last week or the week before. And so that is 2.0. And of course you want to make sure that you're using Plug Cowboy version 2.1. And from a regular version of Phoenix, as you can see, it's not much over here. All right. And so let's go ahead and let's use mix steps git to grab the latest dependencies. And you'll see that there was a very big release and it's not much things have changed, right? You see everything kind of works out. But we do have to make some, not necessarily considerable, but some relatively big changes not very big though one is to go to your config uh, one of the biggest changes that's happened in phoenix is that they try to remove the phoenix pub sub so that way you can really use it wherever you want um, in that case where we actually need to run pub sub server from our uh, tree so no longer does our endpoint uh, or phoenix itself I forgot which one, I believe it's the endpoint, actually turns on the PubSub server for you. You run the PubSub from your own uh, application, which is good. So a little bit of uh, separation there. Now what you need to do is you can basically, uh, what I would do is I would grab this because we're going to need this for later on. And I'll show you what that is. Let's cut this. And for the rest of this, we will need to actually sorry let's not even cut this what we need to do is let's just remove everything else except for this name and instead of this being pub sub this one has to be renamed to pub sub server and the next thing is that we need to actually start up our pub sub from our application which is quite straightforward you just go to lib and our app is within sample app in this case, an application.ex, so follow, follow your own structure. And because our endpoint actually requires this, so we need to start this before. And we need to use a tuple here, and that's because we need to pass some arguments in. So we want to start off Phoenix pub sub. And in this case, what I wanted to say before was we need to actually add in the name, say this is what your name is. And from our config, we need to choose the same name. So literally, we can just go back over here and just grab this. Copy that and paste that here and make sure you do a comma at the end. Now, another 
rather big change is that they wanted to start to use this idea of uh, render or inner content. There's a root template and there's also your regular templates. Um, I'm still kind of wrapping my head around it, but it's something to do with live view. So in this case, what we need to do is you go to lib, you go to your web section, go to your templates, your layout, and over here, instead of calling this whole render thing, what they actually want you to do now is you can remove everything up to this first at symbol and then just put it in their contents. And sorry, one more thing is you do not want to have a render, so it's only inner content. Now, the other thing too is uh, you need to go ahead and change one more thing. And so this is in the test section. So if you go to your web section and your test and you look for your contest support, so this one should be uh, controller, sorry, support. So test support. Uh, should be con case. So what they used to have over here was use Phoenix contest. What they actually recommend you do now, and I'm sure if we try to open this, which we cannot in this editor, uh, what they want you to do instead of use Phoenix contest is they want you to use two different lines. Import plug.con. So now you're specifically bringing in all the plug con functions. So get response, uh, put response, this kind of thing kind of functions and also import Phoenix con test and honestly with that now we've actually had an upgraded app so we can actually go ahead and run our app and besides the fact that we have a database here so mix ecto setup so that way accept our database and then run this and you'll see everything works and shows up just fine. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.